All right, so today I'm going to kind of show a little video on looping and how it kind of works and uh, how you could use it as a practice tool. Uh, what a looper does is it repeats whatever you record into it and it just plays it over and over and over. So if you lay down the rhythm section of a tune you're working on, then uh, it'll just play that rhythm piece over and over and over, repeating, and you can just sit and experiment and play around and kind of do whatever you want and uh, can kind of help you learn the tune and experiment around with different things you might can do with the tune. And uh, the real tricky part about looping is stopping the loop at the right time so that there's no space or gap or anything. You want it to just pick right back up like the next person is taking their break on the tune and it just keeps rolling. Uh, so that's a tricky piece. And uh, today I'm using a Ditto X2 looper. You can use just about any looper. And uh, there's lots of different ones on the market. I like the Dittos, they work really well. So I'm gonna do a little tune called uh, Cedar Hill by David Grisman. And uh, first I'm gonna lay down the rhythm section, so just bear with me through that. And then as the loop plays over and over, maybe I'll, I'll pick over it a little bit and kind of just show you how you can use it as a practice tool. So here we go. over and over and over and you just keep on playing it's kind of a handy learning tool so uh, and they're also not very expensive they make a ditto just a small little mini pedal that has unlimited loops about five minutes of recording time which is an awful long loop and then the, this is the ditto x2 and you also have a ditto x4 I have one of those and it does a few other things it has two independent loopers so you can do like part A of a tune and part B of a tune and kind of switch between them at will uh, so there's lots of different ones out there but uh, Hopefully this is helpful to some of you guys, and uh, thanks a lot.